Hi there, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since my last upload. This is due to heavy workload and responsibilities I've had recently, while also finding time to play the games I love and enjoy. And now it's time to throw down on the hottest games of 2023, so grab your party hats, grab your controllers, and let's rewind on the epicness that was my top 5, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Remember that pure, unadulterated joy you felt as a kid, stomping Goombas and nabbing coins. Super Mario Bros. Wonder bottled that lightning and sprinkled it with next-gen sugar. The levels were mined. Bendingly creative, the power-ups were hilariously bonkers, and the multiplayer chaos. Legendary. It was a love letter to nostalgia that somehow felt totally fresh, like, who knew Bowser Jr. could rock a mech suit so hard. My top 4. Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 wasn't just a game. It was a psychological roller coaster built on jump scares and existential dread. We ventured into the twisted corners of Alan's mind, where nightmares bleed into reality and shadows whisper your darkest fears. The atmosphere was thicker than pea soup. The story kept us guessing like a paranoid detective, and that flashlight. It became our beacon of hope in a world gone mad. Plus, who doesn't love a good OL fashioned monster with a typewriter for a face? My top three. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 Remember that feeling of soaring through New York City as Spider-Man, wind whipping through your hair, bad guys flying through the air like ragdolls, yeah. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 bottled that feeling and injected it straight into our veins. The combat was tighter than Spidey's suit. The swinging felt smoother than butter, and the story. It had more twists and turns than a web-slinging parkour course. This game was pure power fantasy with a heart of gold swinging underneath. My top 2, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild blew our minds, and Tears of the Kingdom said, Hold my Sheikah slate, this Zelda took exploration to a whole new dimension, literally. Floating islands, gravity-defying puzzles, and a motorcycle that would make opponent jealous, this game was bonkers in the best way possible. We got lost in its breathtaking landscapes, puzzled our brains out over its mind-bending mechanics, and felt the weight of Hyrule's fate on our link-shaped shoulders. Tears of the Kingdom wasn't just a game, it was an experience. Like, how did they even make that work? Sorcery, probably. My top 1, Baldur's Gate 3. And the winner, the champion. The game that stole our souls and left us begging for more, Baldur's Gate 3, baby. This RPG juggernaut brought back the feels of the Forgotten Realms, cranked the story up to 11, and gave us a party of companions we'd die for or, you know, reload a save for. The tactical combat was a brain-burning blast. The choices were gut-wrenchingly real, and the world, so rich, so detailed. You could practically smell the troll sweat. Baldur's Gate 3 wasn't just a game, it was a journey. A tapestry of epic proportions woven with dice rolls and dragon fire. So there you have it, folks, the games that rocked our 2023 world. Which one left you feeling like a gaming god? Tell us in the comments. Share your epic wins and hilarious fails, and let's raise a pixelated toast to the year that was. And here's to 2024, may it bring us even more worlds to conquer. Stories to tell and friendships forged in the fires of lag and loot. Till next time, peace.